All right, I stand corrected. Apparently a whole lot more people know who Red Green is south of the Canadian border. I apologize for any inconveniences this may have caused. To the news! Oh Cortana, what are they doing to you? Windows 10 has been pretty chill about letting end users pick and choose their default browsers. Me personally, I still prefer Chrome over Edge. But Microsoft is implementing a change that some might not be too happy about. Starting today, web searches that are done through Cortana will always open and Bing and it will always use the Edge browser to do so. But Microsoft does have an explanation for this change. Microsoft can offer better integration through its own platforms and how the data is presented, while using other browsers or search engines offers little consistency or reliability. I don't know how to feel about this. On one hand, it's a good way to gain more users for Edge and Bing, but on the other, I just like having the option to choose my default search engines and browsers. What do you guys think? Will you keep using Cortana? Do you not care? Leave a comment. Samsung announced a new prototype app called Bedtime VR Stories. And if you're thinking it's a way for parents to skip out on reading stories to their children, you're kind of on the right track. Essentially what Bedtime VR Stories allows you to do is read a story with your child even if you're on a business trip and your child is at home in bed. The child gets their own cardboard headset while the parent gets to use the Gear VR. Together, the both of you go on a bedtime journey. It's actually pretty cool except for the fact that both you and your child are depicted as giant purple orbs with a headset on your face. I mean, I guess it's nice. I never got bedtime stories as a kid, and I turned out like this. And it's the never-ending saga of the exploits. I, I mean, the division. On Ubisoft's official blog for The Division today, Ubisoft elaborated on what they are doing on their end to improve player experience. First off, they're strengthening their efforts to address the usage of cheat engines. There are new cheat detection methods in place. Apparently, they've caught more cheaters in the last couple of days than in the previous weeks. Players caught cheating with cheat engines will be given 14 day suspensions for first time offenders and bans for repeat offenders. In terms of addressing exploits, the terms are a bit more whatever this hand gesture is. Ubisoft is unable to simulate every player experience, so some exploits or bugs will slip through the cracks, but they will confirm bugs and exploits in a public forum thread. And if you are caught exploiting a bug, you will suffer the consequences. If you have already exploited anything, there will be account rollbacks, suspensions, and even bans. I mean, I've stopped playing the division altogether, but for those of you who are still playing, just be careful. It's time for Lightning round. That's pretty awesome, Ronald Pinkie Pie. <laughs> Send in your own versions of our quick news segment for a chance to be featured. The Fantax N3 Evolved Tempered Glass Edition launched today for about $220 US. Former Motorola president Rick Osterloh joins Google's new hardware division. One of the founders of the Atari, Noah Bushnell, signed a deal to develop at least three new mobile games. A new Sony smartphone that has a 16 megapixel selfie camera is leaked through a benchmark. Next week, there will be a new Battlefield related announcement. Riley and I are super excited. And finally, no one has beaten Doom on the Ultra Nightmare difficulty. Not even the creators of the game at id Software. Damn. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCX forum post linked in the description. I only work with black and very, very dark gray. But not tomorrow, I'll be wearing blue. What for you might ask? The NCX Tech Fair. Don't worry people, this is the last time you'll probably hear of it. This weekend only at Lansdowne Center in Richmond, BC, NCIX is celebrating its 20th anniversary by hosting a tech fair. From 11 a.m. to 5 p.m., you can visit over 25 vendors at their various booths, collect stamps, enter for hourly giveaways, visit our actual store for tech fair exclusive deals, there's free parking and even a free photo booth. Plus, we'll be there if you wanna come say hi. Click here for more details. The NCIX Tech Fair. People come to the mall to visit Tours R Us, but stay for the VR demos at the tech fair. This is gonna be a VR demo, so that's pretty cool. Click. All right, that's it for Nightling Day. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos and check us out on Twitter over here. But as always, like the video if you liked it, comment for fans with benefits because it ends very soon, and subscribe for more like this from NCIX. We'll see you at the tech fair. Oh, and just a word of advice, try not to buy a white G-Shock, it's super hard to keep clean.
Click here. Tick there. Twitter. Sorry.